Welcome to our YouTube channel, Climate Change Action Plan Carbon Neutrality. I'm Mike Fiorino, EVP of ISO Compliance and an ISO International Auditor. Today we are going to walk through our web-based carbon footprint calculator. We've had the calculator used by several hundred clients and the public, and I have combined the best Q&A into this video. Please like the Carbon Footprint Calculator video and subscribe to Carbon Change Action Plan Carbon Neutrality for more informative videos on carbon neutrality. In this video we'll review our ISO 14000 compliant Carbon Footprint Calculator. You'll find it at netzeroanalysis.com under Carbon Neutrality heading and by selecting the Carbon Footprint Calculator. This calculator is ISO 14000 compliant and has been calibrated for use globally, which is the major change from our previous version. The contact information section is fairly straightforward. Please provide your name, company, street, and additional information regarding how we can contact you for additional information and to provide additional analysis as requested. In the building information section, please provide a date for when input was entered and location information for the building being analyzed. The building information section also requires that you select a country location for your building. And if you're in the United States, a state. If you select a country other than the United States, no selection should be made for the state tab. Now we've provided several global locations to select from if yours is not here, please select something close. We'll be adding additional locations as we gain information on grid carbon intensity. So I'm going to select the United States, and since we're in the U.S., we'll also be selecting a state, which is Illinois. So we'll be using that as a base for our carbon intensity moving forward. So now that we've selected a country, and in our case, a state, since we're in the U.S., we can enter some building energy usage information. All these are based on yearly totals. So I'm going to plug in some numbers here so we can generate some results. Uh, let's say for water, we used 10,000 cubic meters of water. And for natural gas, we used 100,000 cubic meters a year. For electricity, there's three inputs. Uh, for grid electricity, that's going to be the most common. For solar or wind, if you've got that available on site. And if you're hooked up to a bundled power purchase agreement or PPA, that's feeding renewable power directly into the grid that your building is connected to, you can enter those numbers here. So for us, we're, we're going to enter 100,000 kilowatt hours of usage from the grid, and I'm also going to enter 100,000 kilowatt hours from a solar source that we've got connected to the building. That'll give you some idea of the difference between the uh, metric tons of carbon emissions between the two. If we've got gasoline that we're using, let's just say we're using 300 gallons of gasoline that's burning on site, and we're using a thousand gallons of fuel oil or diesel and for propane we've got a thousand cubic meters of the of propane that we're using so that's our building energy usage and our building square footage let's just say is ten thousand square feet this is telling us that we're using twenty kilowatt hours per square foot now looking at the results, we can see that our grid electricity, which was 100,000 kilowatt hours, is generating 51 metric tons of CO2 emissions. And our solar is only generating 9 metric tons of CO2. The balance of the energy usage from burning fossil fuels is generating 1,725 metric tons of CO2 emissions. So now that our building information is inputted, we can move on to the vehicles. We're providing up to four different uh, vehicle types, or actually these would be fuel types used by vehicles. So let's just say for our vehicle no type number one, those are going to be all our gas-powered vehicles. And here in the U.S., we're going to measure that by miles per gallon. 
let's say the average fuel economy of these vehicles is 15 miles per gallon and we drove all our vehicles a total of 200,000 miles and we've got some diesel trucks let's say that are also in the US in miles per gallon and we're going to say that uh, the average fuel economy there is 12 miles per gallon and we drove collectively 500,000 miles if you look at the results when I hit enter here you'll see that jump up and that's calculating the diesel usage we also have vehicle or equipment emissions which are calculated by quantity. So this would mostly pertain to, you know, uh, a forklift or golf cart or something that you're not measuring by miles per gallon, but by how many total gallons that you've used. So let's say we've got a gas powered uh, golf cart and we used uh, 100 gallons. And we've got, uh, let's say, some forklifts that are diesel. And for those, we've used 1,000 gallons. And you can enter other inputs here. If you've got vehicles that run on E85 diesel or CNG and propane, and the same selections are available if you're measuring by miles per gallon. So now we can see the total, in this case, our building is generating 2,338 metric tons of CO2 emissions per year. At this point, we're going to say, you know, we want to be 100% carbon neutral. In that case, we would have to purchase 2,338 offsets. If we're not going to be 100% carbon neutral for that year. Let's say we've got a five-year plan or a 10-year plan and we're going to start out at 50%. You would just change this number and this would tell you how many offsets you need to purchase for that year. So now that we've determined our carbon offsetting requirements, we can go ahead and print our results. And that can be done by hitting the print all button and selecting a destination. So you can either uh, go with a PDF file or select a printer and then executing it. If you hit submit, the documents will get sent to our office and you can give us a call or leave us your information and we'll give you a call and answer any questions you might have. You can also hit reset, in which case all the defaults will be set back to their original setting and you can enter another building. If you're ready to purchase offsets or just want to explore the possibility, you can go to the Entrex Carbon Market uh, link down below and bring up their website. At the Entrex Carbon Market website, you'll also find videos which will introduce you to the market, uh, show you how to do offset selling, buying, and trading in general. We hope this information has been helpful for you. Please let us know if you have any suggestions. Thank you. Net Zero Analysis, Carbon Neutral Now, Net Zero Emissions 2030.